Later that night. Uh, I'm kind of hungry. He's still asleep. All right. Mm, let's see what's in the fridge then. Huh? Oh, it's Minetta. I forgot. I'm coming right after the was on this floor. And from the looks of it, he's in the girls' part of the hotel room. I've got an idea. In Ari's hotel room. Babs use my paw. Babs use my paw. Babs use my paw. Babs use my paw. Zio? Yes, me. It's go time. And what's happening, might I ask? Side note, Balto can actually talk. However, in pet logic, they can communicate with each other. I don't know. Minette's on his way to this side of the hotel room. They'll let you know so we can plan defense. And what's your idea here? How do you feel about becoming a ghost dog again? Let's do it. And then... I swear, this whole time being, I've got a thing on that thing. Action. But that changes the day. The Nora Mineta. What the? I am the ghost of this hotel, and you are committing an atrocious sin perving on these girls. If you do not stop, we will commit an atrocious act upon you. I didn't know there was a ghost in this hotel room. Of course not, you were shipped here in a box. Oh, screw you. But I am serious, though. If you do not stop, you will receive an unpleasant surprise. Do we have fuck me to believe that this is some ghost? I mean, for all we know, this could be just a girl thing another prank on me. The fact you're aware of what the girls can do and you still do this is baffling to me. Oh, what would you know? Judging by your perverted energy, I can tell you've been rejected a lot. In so many ways. Some even violent. Listen, the point is, if you are a real ghost, then you'll throw me some evidence. Otherwise, I'm gonna get back to doing what I was doing. So let me get this straight. You won't stop unless I show you proof? Yes, that's exactly what I'm saying. Okay, then. Yeah, ghost, whatever. Anyways, I will do. Let's see what you've got. What's that, Alice? Ah! No grace for harm in the process of this, and oh, who am I kidding? He totally was. Ah! 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 Oh yeah, what's up? What are you doing here? That's not poor right now, being attacked by a ghost dog, I need your help! Yeah, sure, just get back to the question, why were you here? Well, the other guy put out through your panties, but now I want to live! Okay, awesome, cool. Uh, uh, Arthur, uh, what are you doing? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. don't do the ghost on that door! Yep, don't you dare close that door! <laughs> help! Help! Oh. Help me! Help me! A few minutes pass, and Balto and Zio defuse, go back to their owner's room. And no one was yet none the wiser. The next morning. <sighs> morning, everyone. Oh, Jiro, hey, um, you got any plans for your day? Um, yeah, why you ask? I was just thinking that in the schedule, maybe you can I get something to eat. I can't. I promised Yaruzo to help her out with a few things, and I promised Echo we'd go to karaoke. Oh! Right. Yeah, but see ya, Denki. Yeah, see ya. <laughs> don't worry, bud. I'm sure you'll get there. Yeah, don't worry about it. Love has its own weird ways of coming around. And sometimes, you don't think you'd find love at all. How'd you two beg your girlfriends? We did it. Mine's made me wait to even start dating in the first place. And mine just picked me up and threw me over her shoulder. Damn right, I did. But still, you haven't had a girlfriend yet? Even I've had a girlfriend before you. Yeah, but both of you to assume a car even counts that as dating. Hey, that still counts for something. Does it though? Mm. Where is Akari anyway? Akari took Naomi, Bakugo, and Sarah to some guy named Shu. She asked if I wanted to tag along and I said to be on the way. So then why aren't you going? Because I had to be there for you in case you rejected your date? Well, thanks, but... <sighs> Look, Kaminari, I'm sure you get there someday, and like, like Hawk said, love has its own way of coming around. Did you just agree with me? Well, it has to happen at some point, so yeah. Yeah, we have faith in you, bud. Thanks, you guys. Just, what's worse than getting rejected by the girl you like? Getting hit by a blue ball five times? <laughs> oh, he did not just bring that up. Excuse me, I'm secret? I said that aloud, didn't I? Oh yeah, you did. Can I get an explanation of what's going on right now? I don't think I want to. 
Okay, Con, I did not need to say that. Oh, no, 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 that's fine, I'm too great. Let's just, just talk for a second. Where'd you get that, John Claw? Don't worry about that. Let's just talk for a second. Gotta chill, gotta chill, gotta chill! <laughs> get that back in the show, go! Oh, boy. Uh, 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 can someone explain? We can't. We really can't. Hey, guys. Sorry I'm late. Late? Dude, we thought you bailed on us. Seriously, what happened to you? Well, you know, me and Connor thought it'd be good to do some exercises. What kind of exercises? Outrun the demon with the chancla. I know that end. Uh... Okay. Aside from wanting to keep my mouth shut, can I ask you a question? Alright, what is it? For as long as I've known you, you've only worn boots. Unless I recall, your legs are the closest semblance to a cat, so wearing sandals is pretty much impossible. So where the hell are you getting these chocolates? Like I said, don't worry about it. Are you really expect for me to take your hand after you hit me with a chancla? Do you want my help up or not? <sighs> Smug ass demon. Nosy ass cat. Yeah, please do not ask me how I got to that. Right, well, he didn't really miss much because Shu doesn't look like he's here yet. On the topic of Shu, how come I've never met the guy? Or know of him, for that matter. I mean, to be fair, you didn't really ask about him. Unless I recall, Kasuke didn't ask for sass. Unless I recall, you agreed to date me. Okay, we get it. You're both very pretty. Can we just not get into a fight right now? We're supposed to be on vacation, if you don't remember. I mean, for real, though, you guys want me to give you a minute or something? Oh, shoot! When did you get here? I thought I'd listen to the conversation. And I see you at your friends. Um, hey! So you're the sister of uh, cory has been talking about. Uh, Corey! Hey, family love. Anyways, you guys got some fun. We'll talk to Sarah for a bit. Let's see where this is going. Let's go, guys. So, how's it been with you and Akari? Well, me and her have gotten a lot closer since first year. That's good, that's good. You've been treating her well, right? Of course I have, dude. Oh, that's good, because if you hurt her, I would have to kick your ass. <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious, though. I, I will kick your ass. Okay, then. I thought vodka was at least my concern. Yo-ho, Dobby! What do you want, Hawks? Well, I was thinking that since Kai and Connor are bonding, I thought, you know, maybe you and I should get some bonding experience in, eh? Hard pass. Oh, come on! Why not? Not interested. Unless I recall, you and I are not friends. You just admit that you want to be my friend. And like I said, I don't want to. And besides, should you be trying to mend the wound with Toga and Ryu? Yeah, while Kana's trying to persuade Ryu on why she shouldn't stab me. Well, maybe I shouldn't have killed Jen. That wasn't my first option! Yeah, but you still did, and you still haven't given me a reason for us to bond. Oh my god. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna wait outside for you, and you can just come out the door when you're ready. You're gonna be outside for a long time. I guess we'll see. <sighs> you know, you are one stubborn piece of work. I don't know how long have you been listening in. Long enough to know that you want to be friends with Hawks. I do not want to be friends with the guy. As if it's written all over your face. You're fucking delusional. Am I being delusional? Look, at the end of the day, I'm not forming a bromance with Hawks. Right. And remember you said you weren't going to approve of Shuko and Sokoyami? Look what happened there. Don't start acting cheeky. I thought you liked it when I was cheeky. Watch it. I love and hate myself. <laughs> but at the end of all this, I'm not continuing this conversation with you. Because we all know you lose that argument. Why the hell are you even here? I just felt like being included. Of course you did. Look, if I can be friends with Hawks after everything he did, then so can you. Can you please do this one thing? For me, at least. <sighs> Alright, fine. Thank you. Mwah. Yeah, yeah, whatever. So is this what it means to be quote-unquote whipped? Shut up. And then... You knew she'd get me to go outside, didn't you? 
Hey, your scrawny ass ain't that hard to break when it comes to her. Oh, go shove it up your ass. At the mall. Whoa, this mall's freaking huge. Yeah, just don't end up getting lost on us. Oh, relax, Kendo. That's why I'm here for. I'm not gonna let the guy get lost. That's what that happened to you too. We'll be fine, trust me. If anything happens, we'll just give you guys a call, okay? Yeah, no, I'm still going with you. This might be a good opportunity to learn more about your brother. Yeah, that's true. We'd be a good bonding experience. Wouldn't it be pretty manly of me to not have you two bonds? Alright, you can, you can come. Do act like in this situation you have a choice. You three have fun. And then... Someone's acting a bit off. What makes us say that? Ever since Naomi told us what happened at the beach, you've been acting a little bit strange. And not to mention, you and Kirishima were talking a little bit after that fact, too. Does this have to do with his ex? Ugh, <sighs> you hit the nail on the coffin. Ever since we learned about Naomi's, I've had this worrisome feeling that his ex could be here, too. And Akihito's had the same. So, like, can I get some insight on the ex thing? Really? You don't know about his ex? I was in Tokyo half my high school year, and last I recall, the last mention I've ever heard of his ex was when we played 1B Family Feud. Oh uh, yeah. Well, if that's the case, where should I start? Just start at wherever feels comfortable. One explanation later... Wow. Yeah, no kidding. Which is why if I see that guy again, it's on site this time. What's on site this time? Oh, Monoma, what's up? Oh, you know, just going around, having fun, and that is some weird guy. What guy? You know, not sure. His face rung a bell and he mentioned Akihito. I took a picture before he left. Ow! What the hell? That was his ex, Shiro! Wait, it is? Oh, oh, now I see it. Um, then, um, he's following Akihito. <laughs> when do you last see him? Up the down that way. <sighs> well, sorry. Ow. So you've seen his ex? He visited UA some time back. And you just forgot about him knowing damn well you remind Akihito of him? Okay, in my defense. If your defense is something stupid, I'm strangling you with a vine. You see, maybe. <laughs> with Akihito. You son of a bitch! Ah! Hey doll, you miss me? No. What are you doing here? Oh, this should be fun. Come on, where are they? They had to encounter his ex in a random fucking mall. Oh, man, it could be anywhere. Ah! Alright, Kendall, look, let's just calm it down, okay? Calm down? Calm down! My best friend is encountering the ex that made his life a living hell, and you want me to calm down? Okay, okay, bad wording. Look, Seiko and Fuyuko are looking on one end, and we're looking on another end. So if we don't find him, they could find him and alert us. And besides, he's got Hirito and Kirishima with him, so he still has some protection. Okay, you're right. I'm sorry for yelling, it's just... Seeing this guy again and knowing what he could do was just... Ah... I just better we hurry up and find him before something bad actually happens. You know Akihito more than me, so what do you, does he like? Well, I know he likes Squishmills, but I didn't see any in this mall. Wait, I did, on the second floor. Th then what are we waiting for? Let's go! Hey, <laughs> get him access to my arm! Meanwhile, with Akihito... It's been a while, hasn't it, doll? First, I wish it was never. Secondly, don't call me doll. Oh, come on now, don't be like that. And no, Kendo told me there's a possibility you could be here. So I'm gonna give you one heads up. Take one step closer to Akihito, and you're out cold. Ooh, big words from such a manly guy. That doesn't sound very manly if you ask me. Yeah, well you're not a manly guy, so it cancels out. Now, come on now, I'm still not seeing what's the bad here. You, you're the bad here. You know what's bad? of what you did to me back in middle school, but now things are different. Ah, oh, I am so terrified. And now I'm only gonna say this once. Leave. Ooh, big bold Akihito. Let's face it, Akihito. No matter where you go, you'll always be the same guy that was real easy to manipulate in middle school. 
alone without friends. You know, there's no flaws in what you say. And what could that be? I'm not alone anymore. And you didn't get rid of all my friends in middle school. And what's that supposed to- <laughs> That felt good. Whoa, you guys made it. You know, it's times like this where I wish I could fly like Haruka or run like Shuko, cause my god. I'm sure Shuko gave you some lessons, but for now. Uh, Kendo? You know, after everything you did, Dr. Hito, I have been wanting to get at you for the longest time. And now, I think it's the right time to. Wait, Kendo, don't. Oh, come on now. You know what this guy has done to- I meant, don't do it without me. Well, in that case... Oh, fuck. I'm sorry, but, um, what's going on here? Oh, they're dealing with a toxic ex situation. Oh, then, um... Uh, Y'all do it, then I'm gonna go on break. You know, if there was someone out there that got the Endeavor treatment on Karma, I think you won that one. Wait, hold on, we can talk about this! Yes. Wait, wait, what did we mean? Oh, ho, oh, oh. They're fucking them up! Yeah, looks like it. Yep, and I could not be happier about it. Ugh, what's that missing? Oh, wow, so this has been taken care of. Wait, what? Uh, I mean, um... You saw him and didn't stop him? I sort of forgot what he looked like. Are you... Kidding me. I mean, at least this way to be taken care of, right? True, true. But you're not off the hook. Oh, man. Now you're probably wondering, why am I having Shiro get beaten up? These are simple. I already have one toxic X in this series, I'm not putting another one in this thing, so. Yeah. Hey guys, that was the mall, and why does Kendo and Kirishima look like they just had to open a can of whoop ass? Because they did. And what the heck happened to cause the action? The heck I explain it for you, but for me, I'm taking a freaking nap. What the? We ran into Akihito's ex. Oh, okay. Alright, cool. Now, follow-up question. Why does Monma look like he just went face-to-face -face with death? Don't worry about that. Just know I'm going to sleep, too. So, what I'm getting from this, that it was basically a combination of a good day and laying out unresolved anger? Yeah, babe, that pretty much sums it all up. Trying to have a normal day, but get involved in some reckless shit. This how it feels like the B2A. Eh? Yeah, but at the same time, you can't really blame us for getting involved in reckless shit. I mean, when it comes to people you care about, you can't help it. Yeah, and I'm happy for that. And I think it's nice to know you guys protect Akihito the way you did. What can I say? That's how much I love him. I love you too. And what exactly are you guys talking about? Oh, well, Reeve, you must know we were busy talking about Akihito's toxic ex. Oh, alright then. Akihito had a toxic ex? I did, but why do you want to know that? No reason. But, um, what happened to said ex? Are you actually starting to feel care for Akihito? As if. Can I have a word with you? What's up? It's about Shuko. What do you do now? He hasn't done anything. At least I don't think recently, but, but that's beside the point. Shuko's been hiding something. Well, it makes you say that. When we had our trip to the beach and Toga mentioned twice, I noticed Shuko would give out a sigh. Okay. And after the trip when it hit nighttime, I overheard him on a phone call with the doctor about something. Maybe I have something to do with his medication. That's impossible. I've known Sugar for a while and he doesn't take medications. I think he knows something about Jen. The only thing he can ever do is possibly resurrect Jen. I don't think Shuko's crazy enough to try to find a Lazarus pit. You read Batman comics? I read some over a little bit until when I was a kid, but that's the point. I'm worried about Shuko, and you can't deny you are too. While I am concerned, yes, isn't it something we should force on Shuko? If he's finding something, he can tell us when he wants to. I know that, but still, for him to carry something like that on his shoulders, it's just too much for me to bear. You got a point there. What are you guys talking about?
Oh, Shuko, you're awake too. It was nothing really important. This is about the phone call I had, isn't it? Shuko, you know you can talk to me. What are you hiding? <sighs> you guys keep a secret? Of course I can. And besides, you've kept my secrets. Okay. The truth is... Jin's still alive. What? I... Saved Jen's life. Holy crap. I have so many questions, but I think you might know what I'm going to ask. After Dobby told us that Hawks killed twice, I heard a heartbeat. And when the war was over, I flew back to confirm my theory, and I was right. He was still holding on. I tried to rush him to a hospital I could find, but you know how it was in that situation. Even so, it's been months since that happened. Why didn't you run Total League? Arcana? I mean, could you blame me? I can't. We all thought Jin died that day, and just hearing that he's back after all this time, that would have been pretty heavy for everyone. I was planning on telling you guys sooner before this vacation, but I didn't even know that Jin was going to survive, and when this vacation came in, I realized I might have been a bit too late. Oh. Wow. Yeah. I'm sorry I never told you, Kana. It's alright, little bro. Like I said, I can't blame you. Just hearing that he's alive is just... We all thought he was dead for so long. You never shared this with anyone? I haven't even told Ari or Hawks. Yeah, I heard a lot more with Ari, and... We don't know how Hawks is gonna react to that. But... We're glad you told us, and we'll keep this a secret. Thanks. Well, let me head to bed. Oh, if the time comes where he does wake up from his coma, I'll figure out a way how you can all meet him, including Hawks. I look forward to that. You know, I gotta say, despite being his age, Shuko has grown up a lot. Yeah, I'm proud of what Shuko's become, and I'm glad knowing that Jin's okay. It's funny now to look back on it. Way back when, Shuko was just another student, a classmate. But now here you are, taking him in as a protege, and even calling him your brother. Life works in mysterious ways like that. That it does. And speaking of that, how did Shuko even get into UA despite his age? I may have convinced them to let him join UA. And of course it was his big sister. <laughs> Our secret? Yeah, sure, why not? The next morning, and please put some shenanigans in the comment section because I'm starting to run out of ideas. <laughs> morning, dorks. And would you look at that, the proud king of assassins woken from his slumber. Yeah, and the king of flirting is still getting rejected by the purple-haired bisexual. Mm. Guys, come on, let's not. Seriously, though, Daisuke, how do you just wake up with a buttload of sass? I have no idea. So then what's the plan for the day? Not sure. The teachers are out having some R&R &R time. Even though they had to drag Aizawa outside so he can socialize. Then some class and some of the LOV members went to an amusement park. And then some of the girls decided to try out this new cafe. So I guess it's just us for the time being. Well, there's gotta be something we can do because I'm getting rather tired of staying on my ass. I've got a fun little activity we can do. I'm not liking that look on your face. And what exactly do you have in mind, per se? Just saying, we have a whole pool outside. And we haven't wanted to get back with the girls for not telling us about the traps. Where are you going with this? I said we'd take some photos. We're not taking a picture of ourselves shirtless at the pool. Have you seen yourself in your workout routine? Bro, come with that with your eyes. You're gonna come with viral sensation. You know, much as a part of me would love to see a car's face right now, shouldn't we let the girls relax? We wanted to relax, but had to get involved in a whole trap situation. I thought that one was because of Daisuke. I'm gonna say this again. None of you seem to object to it. But overall, I think that's a really good idea. Soji, we're on vacation. And when you're on vacation, you get all the craziness out. Yeah, there is no way in hell I'm taking part in this. There is no way that you're objecting to this. Oh, fine. Gotcha. Is this what it's like for you guys? Don't worry, you'll get used to it. 
So then, can I take part in this one? You know, the girl's just gonna laugh at you, right? Can I just have a little bit of confidence in myself? And we're confident that the girl's just gonna laugh at you. <sighs> well, I can say for a fact that I am not taking part in this. Got me out, too. Me, too. Oh, come on, guys. Stop being sports sports and have a little fun. Danky, the only way you're getting me to do this is you can take the shirt right off my body. She got me chaotic bisexual because of you. Do you really want to test that? <laughs> After all that, come here and I'll convince the other guys to do it by giving them money. Alright guys, y'all ready? I thought you just got violated, but not at the same time because I told you to do it. <laughs> Meanwhile, with the girls... I gotta say, this cafe is awesome. Yeah, we should be more grateful that Amy found this place. What can I say? I've got a lot of history with cafes. But still, what what the boys are doing? I bet they're doing something ridiculous. Yeah, you can say that again. Hmm? That text from Kaminari. <laughs> Don't look at your messages! What? Why? I know what the boys are doing! Yeah, I think you're a little bit late to that because Naomi, Ari, and Araka already got to it. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Ari, maybe you shouldn't have looked at it. I have no regrets. Really? Because you look like a starstruck... No regrets! I'm dying happy! Oh, come on, Naya. What could I possibly that's so bad? Oh. Oh. Huh. Jiro, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine, Mr. Kaminari. Kyoko, are you blushing? What? No! It looks like someone is. Shut up! At the amusement park. You know, son, this feels nice. Hey, big guy, what's up? Do you know how long I've been in this closet? About six days? Yo, six days! Wait, how do you know that? Oh, so I got a story for you. One explanation later. <sighs> Where is everyone else? Well, some of the members did their own thing. Then some of the classmates did their own thing. And your son, your future daughter-in-law, who's trying to finalize you and race to force, is currently playing some amusement park games. And not gonna lie, they are pretty competitive. But still, how can you survive in the closet for that long? I found some water in here, but nonetheless, when I get out, can you tell me your location? Sorry, big guy. Can't do that. Are you for real? Look, come on, man. The classmates are having fun. The yellow bees having fun. The family's having fun. Come on, man. You trying to see how it ruined the mood? Your word's not mine. What was that? I nothing. Is that the old man? Hola! <sighs> Hawks, when I get out of here, just tell me where you guys are at. Like I said, big guy, can't do that. Ox, I swear to God, if you don't tell me right now. Look, Angie, if you're going to be dealing with Hawks, just know you'll be dealing with us, okay? I thought you hated Hawks. Hey, me and me had a history, but I never said I hated Kago. Of course. Yeah, but have fun coming out the closet. Don't you dare hang up this. There you go. Thanks. What are you guys doing here in that endeavor, Blushy? Come on, you know you want it. Thanks. Hey. Me and Kaya join you in the next game. The two losers gotta buy the two winners lunch. Nice. And since it's my turn to pick the game, I vote we do ring toss. But me and Hawks suck at ring toss. Oh, trust me. I know. That cheeky imp. You had to make it turn-based? Shut the hell up. Oh, I'm burning that plushie. <laughs>